Hi friends, Mr. Paul here, getting ready for our tea party. Okay, let's see. The first thing to do is to prepare all the things I need for my tea party. So I pulled out of my cupboards a tea service for six. I've got two teapots, one small one for green tea, and the larger one, today I'm going to make Earl Grey. I've got my sugar bowl with a cute little sugar spoon, my creamer for the milk, my shiny just polished teaspoons from my silver service, the saucers, and the teacups. Now we're going to set the table for our tea party. All right then. I've cleared the table and I'm getting ready to lay out the table for the tea party. First, I'm going to put the tablecloth on. Next, we place a small luncheon size plate in the center of the setting. This small plate is for the scones and the little cucumber sandwiches. Then, we take a small salad or luncheon fork and put it to the left of the plate. Why on the left? because originally people used their left hand for the fork. Today we often use our right hand. So we're going to now put a smaller luncheon knife, not a dinner knife, to the right. And we're not using a big dinner knife because at tea, we don't cut food. We just use the knife for spreading. Okay, now we're ready to place the teacup and the saucer on the right-hand side of the table setting because all service of beverages goes to the right. Next, we're gonna add the teaspoon. Okay, I've added in a teaspoon and it goes to the right of the knife. All right, then the last thing is the napkin over to the left of the fork, rolled up so that the fold faces towards the plate and the opening faces out. The reason for that is it's easier to unfold in your lap when it's placed like that. All right then, the table is nicely set and ready for our tea party. We've got the napkin on the left with the fold inside. To the right of that is the luncheon fork or the smaller salad size fork. The luncheon plate, smaller than a dinner plate. The luncheon knife for spreading. The teaspoon all the way to the outside on the right. The teacup and saucer with the handle at three o'clock. I have now set out everything I need for my tea party. The teapot goes to the right and above the teacup and saucer with the handle facing out. The creamer and sugar bowl go on a little tray so it can be passed around. Creamer on the right, sugar bowl on the left, handles facing outwards. And right here I have the butter and a little serving dish and a spoon for the jam. And to the right of that, my plate for either scones or little sandwiches. So here we go, the individual setting, napkin, small fork, luncheon plate, luncheon knife, teaspoon, teacup, saucer, 
teapot, serving plate, platter and jam, chiseled and cream. Now we're ready to make our tea. So the first thing that we need to do is get our kettle and fill it with cold water. I'm going to take it over here. Make sure that the water is cold and fresh. Very important. When the water is cold and fresh, it has more oxygen in it. And oxygen gives the tea flavor. Okay, now I'm going to boil the kettle. We flip the switch there and get that boiling because we're going to make tea in the large teapot. We're going to make this Earl Grey from tea bags. And in the small teapot, we're going to make this green tea from leaves. First, we're going to wait for the kettle to finish boiling. Okay, the kettle is boiling. I think it's almost there. And I want to catch it just as it boils. If you let it boil too long, the oxygen in the water that gives the tea the flavor gets boiled out. So you want to get it quick. First stops. Now the first thing to do once the kettle has boiled is to warm the teapot. So I'm just going to take the tea kettle and pour the water, a little bit of water into the teapot. Here we go. I'm going to swish it around. That's right. And then pour it out in the sink. Good. And now I'm going to put my two Earl Grey tea bags into the teapot and pour the water over the tea bags. I'm going to put the top on to hold the warmth into the pot. And now I'm going to do my green tea, which comes in this beautiful little sachet drop that into my little pot. Now with green tea, you don't want to use freshly boiled water. Hot water at a boiling temperature will make the green tea taste bitter. So what you're supposed to do is wait about three to five minutes. Let the water in the tea kettle cool off and then we'll pour it over the green tea and make our green tea. Now that's convenient because the tea in our big pot, the Earl Grey tea, needs to steep. That word means that the tea rests in the just boiled water for three to five minutes to get all the good flavor from the tea into the water. Now what's interesting is that it's not the color of the water that matters, but the time it takes for the tea to see, steep in the hot water and get out the good flavor. So we're going to set our timer and come back.
Set the timer for three minutes. Let it start. Okay, our three minutes is almost done. And that means we're ready to remove the tea bags from the Earl Grey tea. And we're gonna pour the water that's been waiting to cool off a little bit over the green tea. Perfect. Now we're going to wait a couple of minutes for the green tea to steep and get a good flavor. And then we're ready to have a tea party. <laughs> 